Hey guys, welcome back to another diecast video. Today we have Christopher Bell's 2021 Ream uh, 164 scale diecast, and this is actually different. Um, I don't know if you can tell immediately on the tires that they may shine a little bit differently. Uh, they just look a little different. This is the the brand new uh, rubber tires and metal chassis here that we have, and it does feel feels uh, slightly heavier. Uh, but just feels more quality and it is confirmed you know those are really the only two you know changes everything else is the same um you know but it really does feel like it's actual better quality now just by those two uh differences of course you know we don't have like some of the the older ones we don't have the hood open or the trunk open or anything uh, but this is still a really good step in the right direction now they they released basically a whole wave of these uh, however, this is really the only one that was worth it for me because all the other ones were either cars that I had already gotten or, you know, it was a lot of standard paint schemes also from previous years as well. Um, like, for example, you know, one of them was like a Kyle Busch M&M's or a Kevin Harvick Mobile One, you know, same paint schemes from previous years. So it's like, yeah, this is the only, you know, real significant one that I kind of wanted to get because... You know, Christopher Bell uh, didn't have this car. Um, <laughs> this is his first year in the car. So, you know, it's the only real, is the most unique one, I guess, is what I'm trying to say out of all of them. Uh, and also out of the ones I didn't already have in a normal version. But anyway, uh, let's get into it. So I already mentioned the rubber tires and the metal chassis, which is very nice. No suspension or anything, but it is very nice. You can hear how it rolls. You know in comparison though you know plastic like this um so anyway the it is the ream paint scheme as i mentioned uh i'd say the main color in this is the black you have the the red coming up on the sides of the grill here uh coming up through the a post uh it takes over the entirety of the roof uh the b post is actually um in black even though it's surrounded by red because you see this white cutoff line here kind of goes right underneath the window there and then cuts off at the bottom of the c post um, and then you do have a little another little red line coming from the front tire curving all the way through the rear tire to and around the back of the car and then you know wrapping all the way around then on the side skirt you also have another uh, red line outlined by white on the side skirt between the two tires there um, all of the numbers are white with red and black outline sponsors you have ream you have ream ream.com rude uh, interstate batteries dewalt toyota joe gibbs on the back ream.com uh, ream the new degree of comfort on the deck lid and on the roof you have ream.com uh, bell on the back windshield and bell on the front windshield with two little toyota logos uh, and that's about it that's actually not a ton especially for a joe gibbs car not a ton of sponsors added on there like i would expect like i expect you know for four or five other like little sponsors on like you know the on the b post for example and maybe on the quarter panel but really that wasn't the case here um so yeah uh, i guess that's really all i have to say about this really cool to have this you know level of quality back hopefully we can expand on that even more i will say that they are um uh like 15 dollars, so they are more expensive so if that's not really worth it to you you know that may be the only thing you know but i guess you could say quality does have a cost to it um and uh what else was gonna say oh yeah if you are getting this from circle b diecast these will come in like a separate uh, shipment than you know pretty much anything else you would normally get because most of the diecasts you would get come straight from North Carolina. These ones, for whatever reason, are in their uh, what state was it? Missouri, I think it was their Missouri warehouse. So this would come from a completely different location, completely different address, all that. So uh, just a heads up if you are getting that from Circle B. And other than that, that's really all I have to say. So um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.